America is in uncharted territory. Joe Biden has won, but the president believes this. They're trying to steal an election. They're trying to rig an election. And we can't let that happen. Joe Biden has won, but this is the Secretary of State. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. The president has not conceded, is not helping the transition of power. So is American democracy in crisis? Well, there's no shortage of people making the case. The New Statesman says darkness has fallen on American democracy. An article in Foreign Affairs magazine argues the problems are long term and that this president has severely damaged the norms of American democracy. And the president is nothing if not consistent. He alleged there was widespread voter fraud in 2016. There wasn't. He's saying the same thing this time, again without evidence. And he's sharing videos like this, asking, is this what our country has come to? Those are mail-in ballots being collected in a normal and legal way. And the journalist Judd Legum describes Donald Trump's action as a direct attack on the foundation of American democracy. But are those actions having an impact? Well, we know some Americans no longer trust the system, and their words echo the president. There is questions about some of the irregularities. There's questions about the integrity of those results. I think uh, there's a tremendous amount of fraud based on what we've actually heard and what we've learned from some reputable sources. Facebook has had to take down groups devoted to this, and we're seeing it on the streets too. Trust in U.S. democracy is being eroded by the president and, crucially, by a slew of misinformation online. But for all that, the system itself is working. Here's the New York Times telling us election officials nationwide find no fraud. And that's in an election with record turnout in a pandemic. Then there's the media organizations which project the result. All of them, including Fox News, say Biden has won. And the vote counting has continued, despite the president's interventions. But just because the president says something doesn't make it so. And the system shows every sign of understanding that. There are, though, pressures within the system. And some say the way America chooses its president makes a crisis likely. The Electoral College system rewards wins in individual states. This means that while Biden leads Trump by over five million votes, his victory rests on relatively narrow wins in a small number of states. They give him the Electoral College majority he needs. And the MSNBC host Chris Hayes argues that's a risk, tweeting, the Electoral College is just a disaster waiting to happen. Under a polarized country, it will keep stress testing the system until it actually breaks. Not to mention, you can lose the popular vote and become president, as Donald Trump did. And for all these factors, that means American democracy is being scrutinized by a watching world. In a way, it always has been. Back in 1989, President Reagan spoke of the US as the shining city upon a hill, a beacon to the world. Now, some have never accepted that idea, but certainly America has long been vocal in its promotion of democracy. That becomes harder when the president and some Americans believe their democracy cannot be trusted. Whether that constitutes a crisis depends on whether those beliefs outlast the Trump presidency. History in 10 minutes on social media suggests they will.